enjoy and welcome to my studio. Fall is in the air and the spooks are running around. This is our little jack-o'-lantern candy pail and we're going to show you how to just take a simple item and put it on a candlestick and give it a little bit of flair and have a great little centerpiece. Really simple and easy and inexpensive to do. Let's get started. So do our little jack or lantern pail. It's really simple. And the pails come different sizes each year. The Walmart had these. You also can look at the thrift stores. They'll have different years, which is really fun. I found some smaller ones. You could do a smaller version, which would be really cute as well. So we're going to start by uh, putting alcohol inks just on our glass candle holder and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree or your 99 cent stores and I'm going to be using Adirondack these are alcohol inks are in your scrapbook section I'm going to be using black silver and pearl today and we're just going to run them down and you can clean your surface first with uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol to make it ready to prepare for this but don't try to make this too hard this is uh, an easy thing to do and just have fun with it you don't want to have to make it a hard project and the nice thing about the alcohol links is I always say you can't screw them up they just kind of spread out and make their own design or pattern. They're just really, really fun to work with. You could even do orange or purple with this if you wanted to. Instead, that is totally up to you. And I'm going to put a little pearl in here. These colors you will find are mix it is in all three of these. It means you can mix these in with other colors. So you might find them in a different, um, hanging on a different section or at the end of the alcohol dye section. And they dry pretty fast and you can heat set them. Um, that helps them to keep them from running, but if they run, if you varnish them, if you want to varnish them, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. If they run, just use a, a um, spray varnish. It can be Rust-Oleum or Krylon, anything that's inexpensive. I pick up from Walmart. You want to kind of do it light, first couple coats which means kind of dry and then you can do it a little bit heavier which would be wetter and if you want to do that but if you don't want to for this project I wouldn't even worry about that so we're gonna set this side and let this dry and we're gonna go ahead and start on our little handle here I like these little picks and picks are at every place and every year they're kind of different I happen to find this at Hobby Lobby this year and I really thought it was really cute and I'm going to split this in half and keep part of it for the bottom part and then part of it running up the handle and we'll see if we can separate it here so you can see these are on a part and so what I did is I just kind of used that to keep them all together and you kind of want to twist it to go with your handle I knew I had two of these. Okay. And I just kind of took my stem and went around it a little bit. And we're going to tie it on 
with our pipe cleaner and we'll show you how to kind of hide your pipe cleaner up here. So we're going to anchor this with our pipe cleaner and tie it on. It's easier said than done here. I try to leave stuff like this in so if I have problems you know that when you run a problem you're not the only one and it's not as easy as we always make it look. And then I'm just going to twist this around. You could even hot glue that a bit. But I'm just going to twist this around all of that. Bring it all the way up. You could even do some of the alcohol up the back of the jack-o'-lantern or down the edges of him. That would be really cute too. Maybe even just some orange to brighten him up would be fun as well. Okay, so I got that guy on there. So once we've got him on there and I've got one of these little spiders and I'm going to use purple. These were rings. I found them at the Dollar Tree. I loved them this year. I used them a lot. Seems like every year we've got something new to play with. And I'm just going to kind of cover that up. Alright, on our little guy there. Okay, let's take a look and see how dry our little guy is here. I think we're good to go. So, the first thing I kind of did is I put some a little of the diamond sparkles on it. Um, the diamond wrap, I did find this at the Dollar Tree, but a lot of times they have it at the other stores as well. And I'm simply going to cut it as wide as I need it. And that's way more than enough. And I'm going to E6000 this on and this just gives it an extra little sparkle kind of helps make it look complete I guess I should be using my turntable we got some new turntables at Miriam Joy they're 10 inches across and if you're working on gourds or something like that that you need help holding that with. Okay, so we got that on. And just uh, any ribbon that you wanted to use, I used an orange one on this one. And if you wanted to make two or three of these, you can make them different heights with the different candle holders. And I'm about out of this ribbon. I really liked this one. We don't want it too big to take away from our pumpkin and cover him up too much. Put him down just a little bit more there. And then cut the other size up to match him. I try to use, unless you're using a smaller ribbon, the ribbon with the wire in it so you can always fluff it out and use it again next year. It doesn't squish on you. If you ever get one that doesn't have wire in it, you can kind of wet it a little bit and then I can take a curling iron on the low setting and kind of iron it out a little bit. I'm just tying this with my pipe cleaners, your Chanel stems, cutting that off. We're 
we're just going to hot glue that on right there because we have two absorbent surfaces. And I'm going to give that a minute to set up and then I'm just going to glue these three guys right in there. I think that'll hold. My little jack-o'-lantern. I thought these were so cute. Even for the little jack-o'-lantern, sometimes the small pumpkins this size can be really hard to find. I'm going to put the leaf in the back and then we'll put the little jack-o'-lantern on and then we'll put our candy corn in there. I gotta hold on to his little head here so he doesn't get away from me. But we want to be careful if you don't have your pail on yet that you're not bringing these up too high that they're gonna get, um, won't let the pail sit all the way down. Okay. You could put a couple of little color garland picks or little berry picks in there if you wanted to. That just really would give it some little extra flavor. I would put three in. I'll put one at the bottom when I get done here. Last thing we're going to do is glue on our pail with E6000. E6000 is our super glue that glues the things that others won't. So, you're going to make sure that you get this in the middle and just kind of hold that steel and let it glue straight there. And I'm also going to glue this down so his handle doesn't fall anymore as well. There we go. We've finished up our little tiny jack-o'-lanterns. Aren't those really cute? So simple. Just by adding a bow and a Halloween pick to it and some little bit here and there. It just makes them lots of fun. You could even put some little treats in there if you wanted to. That's up to you, but just have fun with it. Wasn't that just fun and simple? And also look at your thrift store for inexpensive items like that to make your projects even less expensive to do. If you ever have a question, you can email me at art at God bless.